Hey, welcome friends. Back, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Um, today, we're going to go ahead and do a, like a cheeseburger mac. Um, I don't understand why it's macaroni or cheeseburger macaroni because other than cheese, it's got hamburger. I don't really understand, but I went through a few recipes online and this is what I come up with. So I'll bring you down here and I'll show you what I'm going to do here. I have my enamel pan started right here. And of course, everybody knows um, I pre-cooked my hamburger. That's not all we thawed yet because <clears throat> I didn't know what I was going to cook for dinner tonight. <clears throat> so what I'll be doing is I will brown up the onions and hamburger together. And I have um, two cups of uh, beef broth right here. And I have my pint of tomatoes and I have some uh, pasta over here. Now the other day when I made the um, macaroni and cheese, now granted this is a little bit, this is a little bit more, this is the only meal, I mean it's not like we have chicken and everything like that. So I'm going to probably do one and a half cups, which I'll need just a little bit more pasta, or a little bit more water, but that's okay. Um, and um, that way it should be more than enough because I would make three cups of pasta, but that seems excessive, but we'll see. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and brown this up a little bit and I will be right back. All right, I'm going to turn this down a little bit because I have time to get this done here, but I'm going to go ahead and throw the two cups of beef broth in here. And then what I'm going to do is throw another cup of water. I did actually put some um, garlic in here too. So in goes my can of tomatoes. I'll get that stirred up. Now I'm not going to add any salt to this because anytime that you use um, the bouillon, I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Everything comes out really super salty because it actually um, has salt in the bouillon. And I'm gonna do. I have a video on my homemade um, onion powder. Oops. All right. Get that stirred up a little bit. And then what I'm just going to go ahead and do is eyeball about a cup and a half of noodles. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on, like I said, I have this on lower temperature. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on this. I'm going to go ahead and cook this probably for a good five minutes or five, probably closer to eight minutes. I'll come back and I'll check this and see if the noodles are done. And if they are, then we'll move forward with the recipe. If it's not, we'll wait, take a little bit longer. All right, that's almost done. Now, I don't know why, like I said, I don't know why they they said to put sour cream in here. And sour cream is definitely not in hamburgers, but hey, whatever, you know. Um, this, this is gonna let it set a little bit to let the cheese melt more. So I'll go ahead and get that sour cream put in there. And I think the key with this, because I'm not used to this cooking with the enamel, I think this works just fine, especially, you know, even on these one pot meals like this, um, is um, you just have to have the heat down, which I'm not used to because I usually cook everything on high, which is a big no-no. Um, but I have to learn different ways to do things also. So I'm going to just go ahead and that looks pretty mixed in. Now I'm not going to add a super lot of cheese. I'm going to add some because I guess that's how you get the cheese burger. And just sprinkle some along the top here. And then we'll go ahead and just put the lid back on. And 
and um, we'll go ahead and get this melted. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because the stove stays hot when you have an electric stove. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on and I'll come back in about five minutes. All right, that looks like that's all done. Um, it's probably got a little bit more liquid than I'd prefer. Not by much, but it's gonna it's gonna have to sit here for a little bit anyways till my husband gets home. So that looks like it'll be okay. <clears throat> I'll turn up the heat a little bit before he gets home so the rest of the cheese will melt. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to find um, some more one pot recipes. So this will just be the start of some one pot recipes, but uh, stick, stick ahead there and we'll see what we can find. Thank you for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.